Hello, everyone. Good morning. This is Mrs. Rodriguez reporting live from roommate Cabrillo School, Hawthorne, California. Today, I am the special reporter, and we are going to talk about what we're going to learn for today. And I'm going to start with calendar. Today, my good friends, <laughs> say goodbye <laughs> to March. Say goodbye, March. Goodbye, March. Yes. <sighs> what do you want to say thank you to March for? <sighs> I want to say thank you to March for whose birthday? We had Rogelio's birthday. We had Romina's birthday. We had Joanna's birthday. We had Jesse's birthday. We had my birthday, Mrs. Rodriguez's birthday, and Max's birthday. That's like a lot. One, two, three, four, five, six birthdays in one month. But today we say goodbye. And I'm going to put here a yellow flower. A yellow flower. And we say goodbye. Today is Tuesday. Let me see. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Then we start again. Boom! All right, here we go. Today, capital, capital T O D A. Y, space, 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 two fingers, I, S. Tuesday, capital T, U, E, S, D, A, Y, comma, March 31st. How do I spell March? Capital M, A, R, C, H, 31st. That means 31. comma, 2020, two, zero, two, zero, 2020. The short date is three dash 31 dash 20. All right, cool. Um, so today I want you guys to go to Starfall and I want you to learn. Let me see if I can, hopefully I can share this with you. Hopefully, hopefully, what? There it is. Okay, so. I go into Starfall. Then I go into Kindergarten. Then I go Learn to Read. And I want you to do level six right here. And you push that one, you do that activity, you push that activity, you do that activity. Don't do WH, and that's it for that one. Hopefully you can see that. Um, hopefully, I'll watch this video again later to see if it worked. And then I want you to go to your Krabby Crab book, and I want you to go to the last pages, and I want you to go to page 302, is it, or 303? 303, 
and it's the, the word like and you to go and do. So what you're going to do is you're going to quote, say quote, and then you're going to copy the sentences and you're going to read it to yourself, the ones that are on the back. Now, can you do this by yourself? Yes, you really can. You go into your science journal, you write today's date, and you ask your parents to put a timer because if your mom has to go uh, wash some dishes, cook, make or the beds, take a shower, you could be doing these sentences, cutting and writing those sentences by yourself, right? I also want to make sure that all of you are met getting up early in the morning. You are working on everything that you, you get up, you get dressed, you have breakfast, then you get to school. Do I really expect you to be in your pajamas all day long? No. Am I in my pajamas? Are any of the videos that I have done, am I in my pajamas? None. And I even wear makeup some days, friends, just for you, not for anyone else, because I'm not going anywhere. I'm in this house. I'm not going to church. I'm not going to the store. I'm not going anywhere. So the only reason why I get dressed up is because I want to look good for you. So I want you to look good for me. Got it? Get up, get dressed, brush your teeth, do your hair, and then get to work. Got it? Thank you. All right. So I want you to do that. Then I want you to go back and watch my video on the ache family. And I want you to write five ache words like those. Ache. I think I have some right here. Rake. Break. Pancake. Take. Right? So I want you to do that. And there's a little YouTube video on the lesson plans about words with ache. Then um, I'm going to make you a video about shapes. It's going to be an introduction to shapes. And then you're going to go to your skinny math book. Your skinny math book, not the fat one, the skinnier one. And you're going to go to page 623. Say what? 623, that one. And you're going to do, it says, trace the shapes, uh, use, uh, use some red shape and a blue shape, a square and a rectangle, trace the shapes, identify the shapes by coloring the squares blue and the rectangles orange. Describe the shapes, the words longer sides and same length sides. How many sides? How many vertices? We'll talk about that in, the, in my shapes video. All right, so then I have this page to do and this page to do, but that's it, 625. Then I want you to watch a video that's on our Flipgrid about how to count collections in two or three different ways. Got it? Then you have to make me a Flipgrid today or maybe tomorrow, um, about how you count. And the camera has to show your items. Got it? I also want you to do Lexia for 15 minutes. I made it shorter because some of you aren't doing it. This is also an activity that you can be doing while your parents or anyone else is watching you. You can do that one by yourself. 15 minutes of Lexia. 15 minutes of GG math. And don't forget that I've also put a PE video. That one's about dancing. I'm so excited about that one. I did it for every day. PE dance. I did it. All right. What else do I want to talk to you guys about? Um, I'm, I want parents to know that I'm trying out a new website. That's our reading website. That's called the Krabby Crab website. Connect Ed, Connect Ed. 
So they'll have to work on trying to log on to that one on Wednesday. And please let me know how that works out. Okay? Okay, I'll see you guys again tomorrow. I miss you guys. Big hugsies. I miss you. And yeah, I'm feeling better. It's getting better. Okay, bye.